Hi, I'm Mike Deming, host of Sportsman's News Television. On this episode, we're in Craig, Colorado with Papirski's Big Game Hunts. John Papirski's become a very good friend of mine over the last six or seven years. I killed an 87-inch antelope here with him several years ago. Been back to antelope hunt. He's got phenomenal mule deer hunting and great elk hunting. They're able to hunt from early August way into December with this Ranching for Wildlife opportunity. It means you don't have to draw tags and you can just buy a tag from him. It's a phenomenal experience. This week, it's going to be me. I'm going to shoot a rifle, try and get one done long range. I've got Ray Kemper, who's my cameraman and pro staffer. He's going to get it done with a bow and then we're going to get a chance to follow around a couple of customers that actually came from watching one of our previous DVDs here at Papirski's Mid Game Hunts. Stick around, it's going to be a great week. Johnny P, master guide extraordinaire from Craig, Colorado. As you can see by the sun, we're getting a nice early start at her. That's why you love antelope hunting. <laughs> Hunting the northwest portion of Colorado for rifle antelope, it'll take you 10 plus years to draw one of these tags. But with the Ranching for Wildlife program, you can hunt this each and every year as long as you book a hunt with somebody like Papirski's Big Game Hunt. You know, and I spent a lot of time at the range preparing for this open country type of hunting and burn well over a thousand rounds a year, look shooting at over a thousand yards. So I hit this open country pretty prepared for what I was about to have in front of me. Yeah, I think you probably want to try to get that one. Okay. He's got good prongs, good mass. John found this bucket well over a mile away. Knew he was a good one. Best of all, he was in a great place for a stock and possibly get a good long range shot. Seven hundred yards, Craig, Colorado, Papirski's Big Game Adventures. We're on our first day of our hunt, opening day. John finds an absolute stud buck, and uh, we snuck up here. Seven hundred yards. This is why you practice at long range, so you can take shots like that and connect. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, it's our first morning here. It prepares these big game hunts out of Craig, Colorado. We've already seen gobs and gobs of antelope. And we're doing something a little bit unique here. I'm shooting with a rifle and we've got limited number of days to hunt. So my cameraman and good friend Raymond Kemper is gonna try and get it done with a bow. So we made a pretty good poke here, 700 yards at this antelope. Hit him three times. Wanna make sure he was down, he just kept laying there. So put the smack down on him. We're gonna get this guy to the processor and me and Ray are gonna get after it with some archery tackle. <laughs> It's time to switch to archery tackle. Ray Kemper's our shooter, I'm the cameraman. Let's go see if we can get two in one day. Let's do it. Being on the Ranch for Wildlife program, uh, it works out really well for the customers, clients. Um, we have uh, guaranteed tags, so uh, what's really nice about that, once you book a hunt, you're guaranteed your tag. There's no drawings, no applications, no waiting 10 years. So when you, you know you're gonna get, have a hunt. Um, we're hunting about 18,000 acres of private ground. And what's really neat about the program also is we set our own date. So we usually start our antelope August 15th, run elk all the way through early December. So it gives you a whole wide variety of dates to, that you can you know, customize your hunt. With people being so busy nowadays, it, it works out really well that you could come in some of the off season times instead of the general gun seasons. I mean, it must be about uh, must be about 80 degrees outside right now. 12:05. 12 o'clock. We're putting in our time in the blind. Torture for two guys with ADD. This is as bad as it gets. We're starting to kind of go through withdrawals, and we finally got some goats coming up over the ridge. Thank We've God. We've been here a whopping 45 minutes. <laughs> It seems like about five hours. <laughs> How are you making it that long? <laughs> I ain't told you that one of us can do that. No. Ray and I only had it in us to sit in a blind for about four hours before boredom kicked in. We figured it was time to go try and make something happen, do some spot and stock with the bow. We saw a lot of antelope and before the end of the night, we finally found a true giant we knew we'd want to go after the next morning. Yeah, look, at look at him, look at him turn it sideways, look at his cutter. I see it. Turn with my emotions. Dude, that is a big goat. Let's go. Well, Ray is uh, after Sweet 16. We uh, got my buck yesterday with a rifle, shooting long, long range. Knocked him down at 702 yards. And we saw this buck in the afternoon. And uh, we call him Sweet 16. He's over 16 inches. Great cutters. Just absolutely everything you want in a buck. Figures, I've already filled my tag, and uh, hunting this ranching for wildlife stuff with Papirski's Big Game Adventures, you have the choice of whatever weapon you want to shoot with. So I wanted to shoot long range with my rifle, and Ray was without a shadow of a doubt wanting to do it with a bow. So we're here, would love to be able to switch hands. I'll tell you what, I bet Ray uh, might decide to pick up the rifle, but he's a pretty committed archer, so I think he'll probably stick with the bow the whole time. But Wow, I would not have the willpower that Ray's got right now. I would want to have this buck down. This is a really, really big buck. I think he's over that 80-inch mark. Got six and a half, seven-inch cutters and a lot of height and good mass. Ray was able to get within 150 yards of that buck, but unfortunately the wind switched on him and that big buck knew he was there. 
He took off and that was the last we ever saw a Sweet 16 ever again. On the last day of Ray's hunt, he spotted a pretty good buck, bedded down nice and early in the morning and in a pretty stockable position. Spot and stock archery hunting for antelope is absolutely as tough as it can be, even if you can shoot 100 yards accurately. You know, getting everything to work out right and getting the animal with the bright body language is so difficult. So, I don't know what ended up happening with that, but uh, Ray got a good stock and uh, it was good to watch. <laughs> That's the way you do it! <laughs> well, we're here with uh, Papirski. Big game hunts. John Papirski is a good friend of mine. We've endorsed his operation for numerous new years now. He's just a great guy. He had to get stuck going back to work, so he gave us the uh, free reign to do what we wanted out here today. And uh, we found a pretty good buck. We were running out of time here, and uh, Ray wanted to try and get it done with his bow. Would not switch over to the rifle, even though we had a monster buck here. Buck we called Sweet 16. He said he would rather shoot a buck with his bow then uh, get sweet 16 done with a rifle so congratulations man good shooting Thank and you, Michael. Uh, got it done 83 yards double lung quartering angle pretty tough shot I was a long ways away videoing it and didn't really know what happened until I was able to hook up with Ray a little bit later and found out that this is what happened and we went and found his goat so we're gonna get this guy out of here it's supposed to be 90 degrees today getting back to the processor so we got some uh, good sausage and jerky to eat Oh yeah. You know, with with our hunts, uh, I, I take a very limited amount of people for antelope, deer, and elk. With the, with our ranch, uh, we, with the season being so long, a 90-day season, uh, we have different type of elk hunts that we can offer to people. Uh, in September, we do do a rifle uh, elk hunt, and that's in your upper country. It's going to be a lot of uh, harder harder hunting, uh, steeper stuff, and then we'll switch into November when. We're right in the dab, right in the middle of the uh, the migration route. So on, you know, on some days you'll see 500, 1,000 head migrate through, and and that gets to be a little bit more of a flatter country type hunt where, you know, you don't have to be in the ultimate shape. Uh, it's it's nice for people who have never elk hunted, or even guys who have elk hunted a lot that are looking to get that first bull. Uh, we shoot bulls, uh, five and six pointers from that 260, 270 range is kind of our nice ones. But you see several high success type hunt, see lots of animals. Usually we're booked up at least a year out um, so, so we can really take our time and, and schedule when people really want to come. You know, it's very common for us to book people two years out. Um, so it, it's, uh, it's really nice that you know you're going to get those tags and you can schedule for years out. Kirk and Pat Dotson showed up after Ray Kemper's hunt was over, and I was going to capitalize on the opportunity to see a couple more good antelope hit the ground.
<laughs> First antelope. 240. Yeah, he was. Uh, I, I, you know, I didn't even range him. I knew he was going to be right in that 200 to 220. 240. Yeah. It worked out good. If they would have went down and around, we would have maybe had a little more. That was trouble. amazing. Just right being there. all set up like that. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Sweet. You did good. We had a little bit of shade right here. I think that super. helped us a lot. You know? <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> Did you get to see that? Right that was good. Yeah. <laughs> Did you watch with your binoculars? I can match yeah. that. Oh, beautiful. Nice shot. Shot him good, huh? Yeah. First antelope. First antelope. First antelope. Pierski Big Game Hunts delivers again. Yes, <laughs> Way to go, baby. He's a beauty. He is beautiful. Love it. Oh yeah, there it is. Where is it? Got your bullet? Probably. Yep. What? Got my bullet. I'm only taking one. That's what I like a man with confidence <laughs> right there. <laughs> <laughs> nice <Yeah>. shot. <laughs> Nothing like a hundred yard <laughs> antelope. That's <laughs> right. that grass right there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was a pretty successful week here with Papirski's Big Game Hunts. I've been coming here with John for numerous years now. He runs a fantastic operation. He does antelope, mule deer, and elk. This is a ranching for wildlife place, so you can choose your weapon. You get to hunt from early August, late into December. Get the prime of the rut of the deer, migration of the elk. You're looking for a great Colorado hunt? Give John Papirski a call. You won't be disappointed. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Sportsman's News Television. We'll have another great episode for you next month. Sportsman's News Television is sponsored by Vortex Optics, the force of optics. CBA muzzle loaders, it's just a better gun. And Sitka, turning clothing into gear. <laughs>